Hey there, welcome to day five of our Get Up and Go Challenge. Sharon Horn Elstrom here, and our challenge today is all about rating things. We're going to rate it. We're going to rate each of the main areas of our life. Yesterday, we prioritized those areas and aspects of our life. Today, we're going to rate them on a scale of one to ten, one being horrible, the worst you can imagine, the lowest grade you could possibly give yourself in this area or aspect of your life. 10 being the ultimate, the best you can possibly be, absolutely everything in every area or aspect of this area of your life, say your physical well-being, everything is going perfectly. Your diet, your exercise, your health, your energy, your physical well-being, everything Physically, you are just clicking on all four cylinders or six or seven or eight or how many cylinders you have, 12. I don't know how many cylinders we all have, I guess. Everything is working perfect in your life. Perfect health, perfect everything. Perfect in your definition of what you're looking for. You got the six pack abs, you got the skinny whatever, you've got perfectly everything going. Then you'd be a 10. Now, Remember each of the areas and aspects of our life, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships, contribution, and then I'm adding communication and confidence to this time through. And then what I, I like to do is I like to take an average of those numbers. So if I'm taking seven numbers, I average, I divide it, the sum by seven. If I'm going to add communication and confidence, I'm going to have two more numbers. So I'm going to add them all up and divide by nine to figure out what my overall average sense of how am I doing? Rating myself. No one else is ever going to see this. No one else is going to know. Rating myself on how I'm doing and how I'm feeling about the different areas and aspects of my life. Really uh, ramp this up in COVID-19. I like to take a periodic review, but I really only usually do this before COVID last year, about once a year. Once a year, I'll take an audit and I'll take stock in how everything in my life is going. How I actually set my goals up according to these categories. And I have a, a primary long-term vision for each of those areas, these areas of my life. And then I have... Uh, a shorter term, like in an annual, I break it down to an annual. What do I need to achieve this year to get my long-term vision? And then I take that and I break it down into, uh, I do quarterly years. So I, I like to treat every 90 days like it's a whole year when I'm doing my personal planning. So then I take the, that 90-day goal, which is like anyone else's year, and I break that down into the monthly, the three-month, the month and then into the weeks and then to the days and down to the days and I schedule blocks of time and hours to the hour on my schedule. Most people don't need to do that much scheduling. They just need to have some goals and objectives and some action items set that they follow. But I like to break it down based on these categories. This year I'm adding communication and confidence as well with respect to an annual goal and then four quarterly goals, which are like four little mini annual goals and then breaking that down by month, by week, by day, and, and what am I going to do every day to move me toward what I want and needs? I rate these. I've done it now since last year, since COVID, seven times. This will be the seventh time I've actually rated. So I could actually go back through my journals and my logs because I've kept journals for each of the challenges. And I could go back and I could look and see, well, what did I rate these as last time or one of the other times or all seven? And I might do that. I might make a graph of all seven times I've done this and just see what it looks like and see how much variation there's been. Because I know there's been variation. There have been changes to how I feel about and how I'm seeing the results that I'm getting in different areas and aspects of my life. But our challenge today is to think and rate each area on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 to 10, physically, how am I feeling about my life? Uh, I'd say about a 5. Mentally, how am I feeling about my life? Probably 6 or 7. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing some new uh trainings and some new things this year that I'm very excited about. So maybe maybe that's even a seven. Uh, emotionally, how am I feeling on a scale of one to ten? Spiritually, how am I feeling? Financially, I'm not even showing it. Financially, how am I feeling? With respect to relationships, how am I feeling about my relationships? That one's a little bit rocky right now in some areas and aspects of my life. Some areas are awesome. They're like an eight or a nine. Other areas are like a two or a three. How do you average all that out and figure out what it is for you? It's subjective. It's up to you. You get to decide. <coughs> I get to cough behind the screen. <coughs> Tickle in my throat. Okay, so again, this is just a way of taking something that's super duper subjective. But guess what? It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks of it. It's what we're feeling, what we're thinking, how we're judging ourselves. Uh, we want to watch out for a couple of things. When we're doing this this rating, 
Look out for the halo effect. Sometimes we think, oh, I'm doing well physically, therefore I must be a 9 or a 10 in everything. If you're actually grading yourself a 9 or a 10 in everything, look at your results and are they really all that you expect for yourself in, in the, the ultimate version of yourself and in your life? And if they are, great. But if they're not, maybe that's really like a 6 or a 7, not a 9 or a 10. I know somebody that rated themselves in a, a, a challenge that I was in and they they gave themselves all 10s. They said, I'm a 10 in everything, which is what we strive for. But I am more objective than that. And I'm like, yeah, I want to be, a, I, and some areas I don't want to be a 10 in. I don't want to be a 10 physically. Energy rise, yes. Physical fitness and things and having to work out and put in the amount of energy that it would take for me to be perfect at 61. It doesn't fit in my priorities. Not interested. But I'd like to be an 8. I'd like to be a strong 8. But I... I don't ever aspire to be a 10. Do we want to be? It, it's up to each and every one of us. What level of success and how we define success for each of these areas and categories. So we want to look out for the halo effect. We want to look out for self-deprecation and, and not giving ourselves credit for the things we are doing really, really well. There's things in my physical well-being that I'm like a 9 or a 10 in, that I'm consistent. I do it every single day without fail for like a decade now. And there's other things in my physical well-being that I totally let slide. Well, does that mean that the whole thing goes to three where the lowest thing is or that everything is, is on rose-colored glasses and I see that as a seven or an eight when really I need to kind of average all the aspects of my physical well-being and say, all right, well, really, am I where I want to be? No. Weight-wise, heck no. Uh, energy, not every day. And so I've got some, some ways to go there. So our challenge today is to rate each of these areas and aspects of our life for yourself on a scale of one to 10. You rate them. Don't show anybody, but I will give you a hint. We are going to look at this again at the end of the challenge. So I'm going to encourage you strongly. I'm going to beg you to please write it down somewhere. If you don't have a notebook or something that you're keeping for every day of the challenge, then write it down somewhere where you'll find it. Write it down, put it in your wallet or something, or put it in your purse, hang it on your bathroom mirror, put it somewhere that you'll see it and be able to retrieve it at the end of the challenge. But just rate yourself in each of these areas. If you want to do the average because you're a nerdy engineer or because you're like me and you like to look at averages, you can take the average of it. I am going to rate communication and contribution. Uh, confidence because I've never done that before it's brand new for this challenge and where I think I am with respect to those and then what we're gonna do and what I want you to share in the comments below today is just the number one area that you would like to start working on right now like tomorrow we'll start working on it but I need those comments today what area is is most urgent to you right now is it finances is it confidence is it communication is it physical is it mental is it emotional is it spiritual is it relationships, I might have said that, is it finances, is it contribution, what area is really top of your mind right now, because that's where I want to start, and I also want to know if I don't start with that one, because I picked somebody else's, don't feel bad, we are going to cover every single one of these, all nine areas throughout the challenge, not just the seven that we usually cover, all nine areas, we're going to, we're going to spend and go through our framework our soap framework to make sure that you install in your subconscious this framework and so you have it automatically spitting out the best option for you every time you face a change or a challenge that's it have an awesome day any questions hit me up in the comments below otherwise i'll be with you tomorrow